You are now listening to Our contestant is Carlos. His friends call him Los. Los? That's right. I, I do tend to explode only when by myself. What's the big deal? That she she touched that? a man's trash can. Bro, right now I'm committing a Schedule 1 felony. Allegedly. <laughs> It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Dude, he's the mole, dude. <laughs> he's got be. the mole in the face of his cock, dude. He's fucking home like a home like a home. Mom, you are a horrible human being. She's being you know what? Right. Why don't you die from breast cancer or something? <gasps> No, you take wow. that back. That's usually, it's, hey, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. I'm also a woman. But in the event of an emergency, your regular exit took me a long time to make that, actually. Or save yeah. Yeah. A bunch of episodes. Here we go. There's no way out. There's no way out. There's no way out. There's no way out. Oh, that's right. Hey, Carlos. Yes. Now, we've got Carlos. 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 Now is the time to open your mind. In our search for the unknown, who knows what we will find? This is emergency exit this is episode 63 today is january 22nd 2018 we are broadcasting to you again from our the emergency exit in our floating tin can i am your host los with me, as always, is Nick, the passion writer, hey, hey, hey. and Brandon, the hard hat Mitchell. Hey, what's up? Thank you guys for joining. We are back again. Nick Ryder. Yo. Brandon, the hard hat. Yes. Yo. We are back again. You just giving just it said to us. That. I did say again. that. I did just say that, and I'll, I'll keep again. saying that there. We what are is back that? again. Um, either way, you're, <laughs> we are live on Facebook Live. Feel free to broad come on on, but uh, by the way, you're, if you're listening to this now on a podcast, I guess they can't go on. Oh wait, you can go and actually watch it yeah. on Facebook, and yeah. while you're there, give us a like, show us some love, you know? Yeah. It's alive. That's we want right. to see a yeah. bunch of them hearts flying across the screen. That's yeah, right. send us send us the love, guys. That's right. If we're reaching into your ear holes, give us give us mm. that little click. Did I say mm. that's right? All right, probably. All right, this mm. is episode 63. Mm. On today's show, we get a glimpse into the insanity of a flat earth asshole's right. epic meltdown and his renouncement of the flat earth when we go flirthing. Later, we discuss government shutdown where everybody's to blame when we give you to the news. Uh, we, we hey, Let's just go, uh, let's just hop right in and do some flirthing, guys. What do you think, huh? All right, yeah, let's do it. Um, boom, right here. We go flirthing. Science is a lie, we gon' flirthin. There's a dome in the sky, we gon' flirthin. The Bible is why we gon' flirthin. That's right. So uh, if you, I don't know if you guys know anything about the Flat Earth Asshole. Uh, Brandon, have you heard about the Flat Earth Asshole? Just uh, when it came to this show. Okay, I was yeah. uh, brought on to it, yeah. And you too, right, Nick? Uh, yeah, I was not previously aware of, of such a fellow. Let me tell you a little bit about this guy, all right? He seems like a great I can character. Piece a few things together just from his name. Yeah, I think <laughs> some obvious things right off the bat yeah, that yeah. he uh, believes in flat Earth and he's got an asshole. He's so, I mean, if you're a self claimed asshole, then there's just really no hope for you. Well, yeah, some people will make a good living out of it, like uh, Steve, the st Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was right. an asshole. Dennis Leary. You know? Dennis Leary, yeah. He's, I'm an asshole. He had a whole song <laughs> claiming it. That's right, yeah. I'm an asshole. <laughs> um, Correct. Correct. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. It's got 24... Dennis Leary? No, uh, excuse oh. me. Flat Earth Asshole has a YouTube channel with 24,000 subscribers and about 150 videos. He's, he's, Damn. He's getting up there. Uh, he is a loud and aggressive personality who mostly just talks to the camera and doesn't really go out and interview uh, real people. Uh, especially the ones that he claims to have uh, debated. He has fought names such as Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, I'm sure he did. Vsauce, Joe Rogan, and Eric Dubé, who is, is himself a flat earther. So he goes against flat earthers, too. Uh, and those are just the name of a few of what them. What, they're just like different sects so of the, flirting? Yeah, he challenges their beliefs. It'd be like a Catholic going against a Baptist or something. <laughs> well, maybe he just disagrees. How do you break that up? He just disagrees I, so with... Throw a small child in the middle. Like, ah, <laughs> there you go. He just disagrees nice. with them uh, with some of the things they say. Right, whether um, it's dome or not, or I think ice wall he's or not, really or whatever. A, I think he's really against the ice wall and the dome, the flat earth asshole here. Is he into puddles? Um, uh, probably. I don't know where that sound's coming from. Don't worry you. about it. Is it? Gotta be. Okay. <laughs> that ain't me. 
Oh, it's coming from my Facebook. Excuse me. Mm. Uh, let me uh, let me keep going here. Uh, so right. his videos consist of him taking an interview of like Bill Nye, who's talking about flat Earth and how it's you know bullshit, and then he re, uh, refutes the uh, the statements. He often he calls them his opponents as well. So, uh, Which is easy to do when you're just talking over a video instead of to the actual person. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Which is what we are about to do with the asshole. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that. We're going to do the same perfect. thing he Give does. the same treatment. But let's... we're not going to... I guess we can stop anytime we feel like we need to refute his statements. But let's listen. This is a great clip of him battling Bill Nye and his response to the science guy's proof of a round earth. Okay. Come on, Bill. You know better than that. Oh, my. Now, this discovery that the world is round was made uh, I'm gonna say in 15... It was published in 1540. Now, I'm concerned it was Copernicus. I'm concerned it might have been 1530, but it was about then. It was in the 16th century that the Earth was shown to be a ball. Really? It was shown to be a ball in the 1500s. Well, how did they get up there high enough to capture the whole ball? And what kind of camera did they use in the 1500s? I mean, can we stop it yet? Yeah, let's stop right there and listen to that for a second. Uh, well, let's talk about that for a second, rather. Because this guy's really? obviously an idiot already. <laughs> yeah. And this is actually really? about uh, three quarters of, maybe a little halfway through uh, this video, which is about an hour and a half long, mm. um, where he, at the end of this video, if you watch it, which I don't recommend, but it's good to give it one watch to see what's out there. Um, he actually goes up in front of the camera and he goes, I want to be a science guy. Wait, I know. And then he starts like shaving his face. And then he puts sure, on glasses oh, sure. and puts on and the, the bow tie. tie. And, then yeah. puts, and then he goes, oh, I'm Jake the Science Guy. And he does this, like, this whole little lame parody, which is uh, just poorly filmed, by the way. Uh, you know, just my opinion, because I've filmed some good stuff before. If I can say so. But yeah, okay. what do you have to say about it? Um, well, really? How did they get up high enough? Oh, you want and to, what cameras right were they using? Like, if All right, it was shown to be a ball because they fucking were able to measure the curvature numbers. of it, and they found curvature. And what's going to happen? Like, they weren't taking fucking pic- like. Don't be stupid. Don't be intentionally stupid. Oh, and that's not proof. Like, you didn't refute Bill Nye's point by being an idiot. He absolutely did not refute it at all, um, in my opinion. I made himself look like a giant asshole. Let's, oh, wait, I guess that's his point. Yeah. But uh, still. But it was known to be a ball by a lot of other people before uh, Copernicus in the Western world, what we now call the Western world, Western Hemisphere. Uh, the ancient Greeks uh, noticed that from time to time, the Earth casts a shadow on the moon. This is a lunar eclipse. And the only shape that, only, that always produces a curve, no matter what the orientation, that is to say, whether you're standing in Greece at night or if you're standing then 12 hours later in... And it's good to point out, um, which is something I've been learning uh, about moon phases because I'm really keeping up with that, which is really interesting to me, mm -hmm. um, that right now the light that we always see on the moon, or rather the shadow we see on the moon, that is always... The same. The, it, not only the yeah, it's always the same, but we're seeing it at a different angle, right? Because of the, the well, way sure. it rotates around us. Um, but we, the Earth, never casts a shadow on the Moon unless it's a, uh, a solar eclipse or lunar. a lunar eclipse, uh, eclipse. Excuse me. That's what Bill Nye's talking about. Otherwise, right. we're not seeing a uh, curve because it's um, it's reflecting or it's we're blocking the light somehow, and it's getting there. Um, rather that it's a sphere, and that's how we know it's a exactly. uh, curve. Because no matter like where you are, as long as you're in an area that can see this eclipse, it's going to look curved, which would only happen on a fucking sphere. And you also have to take account that the flat earthers don't have a good explanation for no. eclipses. They have one for solar, which, I mean, is stupid as shit, but they can't explain lunar. Let's hear flat earth oh, assholes please. lunar please. theory. <laughs> night. The curve, the, the shadow is always curved. So the ancient Greeks knew that the Earth was a ball. Sorry, Bill, but lunar eclipses are not a proof of a globular Earth or a flat Earth. In fact, lunar eclipses can be explained in a few different ways in the flat Earth model. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> For instance, Here we go. many different cultures 
believed there was a third celestial body equal in size to the sun and moon that causes the eclipses, and this was known as Rahu, or the Black Sun. Now, I can't tell you if Rahu or the Black Sun is indeed real, but I can tell you that the moon seems to be a light of some sort of its own, and it is not reflecting sunlight. The moon appears to be creating its own light, so perhaps eclipses are when the moon is rebooting itself or resetting itself to begin it's a its fucking loading bar process again. <laughs> the buffering circle? If the window and shed buffering light upon a sphere, it does not light up the same way the moon lights up. This leads me to believe, and many flat earthers to believe, that the moon itself is a light. Somewhat like the sun, the moon is producing its own light. However, the moon's light is different than the sun's light. Whereas the sun's light is warm and golden, the moon's light appears to be cool, cold light, if you will. Okay, 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 oh fucking K. Last time we talked to someone else about this this third <laughs> celestial being, I remember having a big fucking problem with it. Like, some one guy wrote about there's a, if there's a third fucking celestial being floating around, we would see it all the time, like right. we do with the sun and moon. So that Rahu, get the fuck out of here. Of course. Uh, next, rebooting? Yeah, it's rebooting so that it can light did, up again. Did Earth have to call IT because the moon was out and had to turn it off and turn it back on again? Like, what in the fuck is he talking about? I've heard and that as a before. Source of light, like, okay, but how come, like, have you ever seen, like, as it's almost dusk or just after dawn where you can still kind of see the moon in the sky when the sun's out? I see the I see the moon in the sky all the time. Right, uh, in, the day t- in the day sky. Like, sure, yeah. And it's not giving off light. Nope. So... It's brighter than the sun, if that's the case. Right. Well, it, I mean, like, it looks sun. like, I mean, there's, it's like a remnant of it. Or You see it fully in the sky. I've seen it many times. But like it's I not said, like I've been another it. light source. It's not like fucking Luke Skywalker's no. sunset where you have two separate light sources. So it's not giving off its own light. So but it's boom, cl- refuted. Well, three right there. You know, uh, it's, I don't know exactly if it's, uh, I definitely think. The world is uh, what, what we've been told by uh, scientists all over the world. they have no reason to fucking lie about it. Of course it. they don't. Um, but that, that one's an interesting theory. You know, I guess you could say they've got some clout, but the, the way that it that glows, you know, it still has to be lit up by the sun, and the yeah. moon phases is what proves exactly. it. So it proves around Every single month Earth. it needs to be rebooted. Uh, I and mean, how for come instance, sometimes it's red? If you go out right now, we're, we're it's starting the the first quarter. Uh, it's just it was just a new moon, so now we're just starting to creep up. It's a nice, brilliant crescent right now. Um, in a couple days, I think the twenty fourth, it's going to be a the first quarter, and which means it's going to be halfway around its journey around us, and we will see half of it lit up. And it's a beautiful sight. Um, you can use that to use some trigonometry to find out how far the sun is from um, the moon Ooh. using trigonometry. Um, using knowing where it is a certain day and using the two of them because they'll both be out at the same time at, mm-hmm. uh, during the day. So uh, and you measure that angle. You measure the angle and it'll tell you how many times it's away from it, and then you use what the knowledge we have uh, where it's at from us, and it'll be able to tell us how far that sun is. And the math always adds up to like mm. ninety some million miles or whatever away from us uh, from there. So stuff. it totally, absolutely, completely makes sense. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just no way that it's its own light source. But the light source does not even make if sense. it was. If it was still out in the day, like, if you have two lights on, you see the light from both of them. You know what I mean? Like, if if it was also giving off light as the sun does, you would be seeing light from both of them. Well, I think the existence of shadows kind of offsets that. Because if you've got two different light sources, you're not going to have a shadow if they're coming from different... Right, exactly. And why would the moon be round and the Earth not be round? Right. How can we know other <laughs> yeah, planets we are around? The only flat we're one. the only flat one. <laughs> yeah. So and and his thing on uh, on the the light being, uh, I guess, created by the moon. It's cold light. Is cold that, light. That, yeah. Okay. It, it, there's Blue not such light. a thing, right? Like not that cold I've ever heard. Light, like all light, it ha- is energy. So it is probably right. a little bit warmer than the like if area you, around. If you put a magnifying glass out on the moonlight, would that freeze things <laughs> instead of set <laughs> yes. on fire? <laughs> Just turn be. ants into little frozen blocks or something. You don't know. Mm. Do the test. Why don't you go? I will do, if, just, if you, you know what you always have to say. Do some research. On- yeah, if I can ever uh, harness, because it doesn't focus in moonlight, because it's not a direct light. 
It's already well, so If you get a magnifying out. glass out in the moonlight, it doesn't focus in a beam of it. Like I guess if you does. got a big enough one, you probably... Maybe, maybe. So we need a giant magnifying mm-hmm. glass to experiment on little ants with. Yeah. For science. All right, Flirth asshole. Oh, so Can we just start calling I'm, him Flirth hole? I'm going to keep talking about uh, Mr. Right, sorry, Jake sorry. here. Jake Gibson. That's who he is. Jake, He's Gibson. Jake Gibson. He's the flat earth asshole. He's an interesting character, man. I've interacted with him once online. Yeah. Um, really? I tried right. to invite him to the program. Uh, but well, we're not up to Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson level, so he wouldn't, he wouldn't go round and round. He definitely wouldn't rope, not. Rope us. Um, <laughs> I mentioned how st- uh, the South Star proves a uh, round Earth, and it's very possible I might have called him like an idiot or moron, and he <laughs> it, blocked oh. me. So, uh, blocked that was oh, okay, so they can go around, you know, being all aggressive, calling people sheep, but you idiot, and you get a block. Maybe right. that was my, maybe that was my bad, and it's possible no, I didn't either. Has um, he ever called someone idiot? It, well, he's. He does. He, uh, okay, so he shouldn't be so sensitive about being called an idiot. Like calls them morons and call people out idiot. if you want, but if you get called out, you got to be able. You know, you got to give and take, man. Yeah. You got to give Don't and take. Don't be that guy. But this guy's really funny, man. Uh, he's uh, known. Oh, yeah, I'm cracking up. He's known to spring up. <laughs> he, he's known to go to local uh, like open mics or karaoke bars, oh, sign up, and then rant about the lunar module being wow. a homeless te- a tweaker shelter, uh, among other ideas. Uh, needless what? to say. He does not believe NASA sent men to the moon. Of course not. Here's a clip. Here's a clip. A- anything of him. NASA related would be false. It, it, yeah, he definitely does not Obviously. believe in NASA. Right, right. right so right. here's uh, Jake at karaoke. You mean an open mic? What? Yeah, karaoke. I'm curious to hear the song that's playing. Before y'all leave Taurus, let me tell y'all just a little something. NASA never went to the moon. They fucking lied. They've been lying to y'all for a long time. They ain't going. Guys, oozing talent. So, uh, he's got some balls, man. Gumption, if you will. Great. So, he also does this really funny thing where he calls NASA and he uh, leaves them a harsh voicemail on there. Oh, God. Oh, wow. (laughs) And they don't respond? Oh, they obviously they haven't. Your interest in NASA is greatly appreciated. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hello. Hello. This is the flat earth asshole. I'm an American taxpayer, and I was just wondering why you guys have been stealing our money and faking space travel for, oh, several decades. Just one of those inquiries I had, you know, us public citizen taxpayers. We're starting to figure it out. Lots of us. Lots of us. A few of us, really. All around the world. Faking us out and not actually going (laughs) to space while stealing our money. I'd like to talk about it. Um, So if you could get in touch with me, my number is 1-111-111-111. You don't have to slow down. And maybe another one in there. In fact, if you want to get a hold of me, just press 1 for a while. And when I answer... You will know I have pre- you have pressed one enough. <laughs> All right. What the? So, n- it's kind of pathetic. Gonna call me back from NASA, of course. So the object is to get somebody real on the phone. So well, that- you didn't leave a real callback number. No shit. Like, <laughs> you think they, they have someone just sitting around answering every phone call that comes into fucking NASA because they have nothing else to do? They're definitely just ignoring it. I mean, it. I'm sure they have. Nobody listens to sure that. Sure, they have someone. They have his desk, number guess, blocked. Some kind of. <laughs> if he said words like "bomb" and "tomorrow," uh, and everyone will die, like those kind of things that are, like trigger that that mm-hmm. algorithm they have. Otherwise, nobody listens to it. He should use that Probably kind not, of tactic. But if they, hmm. if you leave a stupid number with not even enough digits in it, by the way, and it's all a giant joke to you, why the fuck would they call you? Yeah. Back, like I'm that's all. Sure. Like if you're at least gonna be out there and try and like this guy is, he's just looking for clicks. Yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just a legit sure, asshole. Sure, man. <laughs> yeah, there's not. Well, yeah, there's nothing legit about what you like. I'm trying to get NASA on the phone. No, you're not. Yeah. Unless you tr- like go from an anonymous number, because after your first little stunt like that, they've got your number fucking flagged. Oh yeah, they're yeah. not answering that shit. <laughs> of course, uh, and that's probably why they keep he keeps going to voicemail. 
Yeah, have you, have you ever been blocked before? I'm sure you have. Just go straight to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the block party. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hot dogs uh, down on the left. And cocks to the right. Uh, he's made a lot of friends. So much in the wieners. F- so much. So much. So many. <laughs> First All dick joke of the, the show. Uh, so Count sadly. it, what, 20 minutes in? All right. 20 minutes in. Uh, Jake the asshole here. Uh, he has made a lot of friends in the flat community. Has he? Oh, okay. He's made a lot. <laughs> seems like a lot of enemies, I could see, but uh, he's probably due to these tactics and all-around abrasiveness. The flat Earth com generally doesn't like him, so even those friends generally don't like him. Uh, perhaps no one likes an asshole. It's pretty easy to say that, yeah, right there. Yeah, 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 very yeah. true. Uh, Jake, the flat Earth asshole, goes on a fellow YouTube uh, YouTuber's uh, website or his show. His name is Antonio Subi Rats. Subi Rats. Subi Rats. Subi Rats. Yeah. Subi Rats? Super rats. Hmm. Um, he's got beef with the asshole of Flat Earth. And he wants credit for the research that he presents. And okay. Jake has a complete meltdown. Let's check this fucking thing out. I also made a hilarious. video called Luna Silanda from where your t-shirt comes from. You know the Tweaker oh, Shelter? Oh, you're going to take credit for my fucking t-shirt? The Tweaker Shelter? Fuck you, dude. The Tweaker yeah, Shelter. This is your job. You're just as fake as all of them. You're just the as fake Tweaker as Shelter. All of them. Fucking fake as all of them. Your job today was to piss off Flat Earth asshole and make this little video. Well, good job. Here I am. You got me. You want to take credit for my shirt? You want to take credit for being the smartest guy in the Flat Earth? You've got your fu- all the problems figured out. You know what the sun does? You know what the map does? You've got yes. every problem figured yes. out. Where no, the no, fuck no. is your map? No, Show one it sec- to us. One second. Show us how you fixed everything. One you second, done Jake. That. Whenever I watch you, you just sit here on your fucking couch talking like a smug little bitch. You oh, haven't shit. proved everything right. Didn't you, you say two minutes ago? All the problems. Jake, you didn't, haven't. Jake, didn't you say two minutes ago? That you never watch me. Hello, can't hear you. Yes, didn't oh, you geez. say two minutes ago that you never watch me? No, never. You said that two minutes ago. I I I I'd heard of you, but I never sat rant. and watched any of your shit because you were connected to Patrick Steer. You had sex with Patrick Steer, so Brilliant. I don't trust anything you have to say or do. What? You also want me to be friends with Brilliant. Matt Overland. <laughs> And you even said you want to so try to reconnect me as friends with Matt Powerland. So brilliant, I know, brilliant. you're full of shit, dude. Yes, yes. You are full of shit, Antonio. Okay, okay, hey, man, Jake. Look, we're both You've just shit we on your own together. words just now. Because you just said you never watch my stuff. I asked you to verify that you'd never watch my stuff. Because you said every time I watch your stuff, all you're doing is sitting there bitching. Now, yes, now. now that oh, I so you do I watch my far. stuff. So I haven't you do. started watching you since you made your little video kind of sticking up for me in ODD. And then I started checking you out, thinking maybe this guy has something to say. And then I watched you. Maybe this guy has something to say that you will stupid. say. You're maybe just this just guy has something to say. All of them. Yeah. You're just wow. fucking stupid. Maybe I this guy. I haven't watched you ever until recently. That's recently why you were out. here. That's why you appear so ignorant. Is all of them. Yes, Jake, that's why you appear so ignorant. You've been making (laughs) a big fuss about the Gleasons being wrong. Two years ago, I pointed out that the Gleasons was wrong. Me, I was the first. By the way, by the way, Jake, 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 just just so you know. You haven't done anything. Just so you know, Jake. You haven't done anything. What the fuck is Jake doing? Going open mic nights? Like, so he's getting pretty fucking heated right now. And he's trying to say that he needs to give homeboy credit, Antonio credit, because he came up with this shit two years ago. And he goes, I've never watched you. And he's trying to catch him on that by saying, well, you said you haven't watched me, so you, but you know what my videos are. And his videos are him really sitting there in his red jacket and him talking with his little fucking baby cigarette. And he just talks about nonsense, Flat Earth. Nobody watches his videos. And he's like, that's why you appear so ignorant, because you haven't watched my videos, you fucking prat. Jay. Well, Sharon kept Jay. fucking talking about it. Jay. He sat Jay. there and did nothing while Dubay kept talking about it. Yes. Matt yes. Powerland, who you fucking love so much, yes. he never he never says that Antonio has it figured out. No. So you no. act like anyone ever paid any attention to you? No one ever listened to you. They kept Jay. going on with the circle sun over the circle fucking AE map and repeating all the same garbage. The only yes. one loud enough... 
Le listen to me, fucking. No, no, we don't, we don't need to. No, did you ever get them to listen? He wasn't I even was talking at that yeah, point. This guy just has listen too much to rage. Me. He's got too much rage just listen built up. Fucking no. <laughs> what is his sex life like? Probably listen non-existent, right? No. Bitch. You're not listening oh. to him. Listen to me. <laughs> All right. Listen. No. We're listening. All right. The only one who ever spoke loud enough Jake. to ever get them to fucking listen. Jake. You just sit listen. there on your couch, bumping your gums listen. with your cum stain listen. dick lips. Listen. What? Listen. Wow. <laughs> no, you what? listen. Listen, Jake. That's all you do is fucking run your mouth. Jake, you're coming across like a complete twat. <laughs> so why don't you calm down? Says you, <laughs> I think you're a complete twat. Okay. So well, you're okay. coming across as one. I think you're a fake tranny fucking okay. fake controlled bitch. That's you okay. I appear to be a twat. Okay. But that's okay. Trannies. Okay. So suck, now, Jake. Suck off, dude. Okay. Was he about to say it suck is. my dick and then like, That's what it sounded like. like I mean, I mean, fuck off. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> You're coming across Damn. like a complete twat. <laughs> uh, another one to add to the. I, yeah. I You're like coming across like a complete twat. Listen to me, fucking. No, bitch. I love that one. He God. got so boiled up. I know, and I mean, not to say that I've never done it, but when you get to the point in an argument where all you do is call the other person fucking names and attack their sex life or stuff that has nothing to do with your topic, you've lost. Yeah. Hey, we got a, we got a comment coming through on Facebook asking a question. Uh -oh. What's, uh, what's the, the question? Uh, uh, Flat Earthers say NASA lost the technology to get us to the moon, supposedly confirmed by the people who work for NASA. Do you guys know anything about now, that? Now, here's something I've uh, learned about this not now. If, you, about if you've ever watched Apollo 13, which is a very accurate portray, uh, like portrayal of what happened for Apollo 13, what happens is that they throw a lot of that stuff into the sp in space. That's why that technology gets lost. It doesn't ever come back. You know, the only things that come back are the top capsule where they come by. Uh, okay, come back. saying they didn't keep their fucking notes from making it the first time. They didn't you keep know, things blueprints. happen. Things happen, um, and I'm sure there's still the blueprints are still out there. But the technology to go there is completely different, uh, and the, a lot of the tech, the actual technology is not no, no longer available. It's it's up. It's lost know, in man. space. I would think that if anything, we've advanced in technology and it would be easier to get there and we could absolutely would we would absolutely go back to the moon but there's no reason to go back to the moon that's yeah i was gonna say that next like what wh why there is no freaking reason right now there is none uh d just to shut up flat earthers is that the only reason why it's well, not they're not gonna believe those videos anyway what was the first vi <laughs> yeah they're definitely not it's like okay we're gonna go there again and they say until that one guy have a phone what? call coming in yeah getting one so that guy in New Mexico finally gets his homemade rocket up there. Oh, we'll yeah, and know. tries to just uh, launch it. What was it? It was built You're on You're on a, uh... emergency exit. Who am I talking to? Oh, that's Hello, right. caller. Hold up. I got to do this thing. Oh, yeah, you got to. You're on emergency exit. Who am I talking to? Hello, caller. Caller. I don't hear All right, anyway, picture. and then uh, coming from the same, same first person, what about the uh, moon bases? Are moon bases possible? I would guess. If I mean, we'd have to be able to find the technology to get to the moon again. Well, we need something but, to like mine, and you know, to be able to sustain ourselves up there as well. Sure. Otherwise, you're just running continual. I mean, if, you, if we were able to fly enough materials up there to make Try a base and back, have an caller. artificial atmosphere that we could breathe, then I, I mean, I, I don't see it being out of the realm of possibilities. No, but again, why the moon? I mean, because it's close. I mean, right, if anything, it, it would be like a strategic rock, refueling so station. We know what it is. Right, but it would oh, be a good, good feeling, you know, yeah. because, you know, you burn so much of that, you know, fuel just getting away from Earth. Once you get out, it's, you know, you use a lot less fuel for more uh, energy, I guess, you know, sure, speed sure. and everything. Well, especially so maybe, if we do the solar wind sa or solar sails. Have you guys idea, watched, uh, you guys seen Apollo 13, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yes. I, I recently watched it, I think, for like the first time in a, lot, in a long fucking time, and there's a lot of cool shit that, that had happened. And if you read up on any of that stuff, those men were almost lost in space. Yeah, dude. Dude, they, and they had to shotgun around the fucking moon, which all that happened, and there's pictures of it. They, they traveled the furthest any, but any other ones ever uh, gone, but they were super cold. They had everything shut off in there. They, they used the lunar uh, lander to help uh, propel them back in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow they made it back. I mean... It is a story. It could be fake, but uh, well, I, I mean, it's. I'm sure it has got to be glamorized significantly. Sure, sure. You know, like, uh, that guy definitely but that, doesn't look like Tom Hanks. I'll tell you that much. Well, no, but <laughs> I mean, the mission happened. The 
fuck up happened and the oh shit let's figure out how to get him back home happened yeah you know like the, hey, the gist of it definitely went down call her try calling back man it. um i don't uh, i don't know what's going on but uh call us yeah, back yeah definitely if you can hear that out there you try to uh, call in give us give us a call but anyway that movie man that's one of the few movies that i can watch like over and over and over. It's just I such haven't a watched good it in a long man. time, but I see it is on Netflix. It's now, on so Netflix, maybe I'll have man. to give it mm-hmm. another watch. Anyway, let's just get back to Jake the asshole yeah, here. Until yeah, until that caller comes back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Jake has had enough of this ridicule and criticism from well, both sides. Well, then he sides. needs to stop acting like a complete... You're coming across like a complete twat. <laughs> so he needs to cut that shit out. Uh, he's posted up a, he posted up a live stream about a week ago saying farewell to the Flat Earth community. Uh, he's pulled up... Listen to me, you fucking bitch! <laughs> Listen to me, fucking no. bitch! <laughs> He pulled up pictures on top of uh, of top flat earthers that he knew and became friends with, and some who weren't. Uh, he criticized them and called each of them out. And when he got to Antonio Subirats, uh, Subirats, he thought that he should defend himself one more time. So here's a clip of Jake the asshole. Uh, hey, did you see flat earth asshole melt down on the Antonio show? Flat earth asshole melted down. He went crazy. I went on there to call this guy a tranny fucker <laughs> to his virtual face um, because that's what he is. He's a what tranny What does that fucker. have to do with anything, So I went on there and called him though. a tranny fucker and to say my piece. And whenever I went to speak and say my piece, he would talk over me <laughs> no. and interrupt me. And he's louder because he's the, the, the moderator. He was no. in control of the hangout. Oh so he kept talking over me and talking over me, and I was just already irritated. So I got to the point where I just started screaming at him Fucker, you fuck trannies, motherfucker. Fuck you. And people like are like, oh, this is perfect. Now we can say that Jake melted down and that he went crazy. Yeah, it's like, no, I just get irritated that that this guy even has a voice. Guys, okay, yeah. What the? Okay, but what does it matter? I mean. Mm. Transsexual people will He uses that too. Ex- as an excuse to not believe a word that he says. So what? The fact that the guy wants to have sex with as, it, people doesn't have anything to do with his ability to talk about the earth being flat. Oh, but there's a lot of people like that in this world. Well, it Just show, because it you shows something his, like that, you have a yeah, different Yeah, I know, view. but it, like, it shows that doesn't his matter. credibility. Mm-hmm. It shows his credibility in what he believes in and how we can't believe a word he's got to say. Yeah. I think he shouldn't that this, have a voice. this whole thing it destroys assholes credibility more than antonio's credibility oh absolutely like uh, he, i wanted to call him a, a poor fucker. pr move like his part if you <laughs> if you want to say he shouldn't have a voice in the flirt community then talk about how shitty he is as a flirter who he has sex with has absolutely nothing to do with his proof of flat earth so jake the jake they're disconnected uh, jake the flat earth asshole he changed his name you want to guess what his new nickname is anybody jake the tranny fucker no, he's against that. Remember, I you never know, man. I have no. Are idea. you even listening? Listen to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what's well, listening? I just you know, the you maybe turned over a new leaf. <laughs> he turned. He did turn over a new leaf, and now the flat earth asshole is now flat earth care bear is now known as simply Jake the asshole. Hmm. Jake the right. asshole. The asshole. Uh, he still That's holds to the idea that the Earth is not round and it appears flat. He believes it appears that flat. It appears flat. Uh, I'll agree with that. Uh, he believes that these friends he made in the community are paid shills or just plain oh, fucking Jesus. morons. Quit attacking your own people. You know what? <laughs> when I think about this, uh, you know, there's this old saying: if you look around at the poker table and you don't see the fool, you're, you're the probably fool. the fool. Oh, I always heard if if you don't have the drunk uncle at Christmas. You're the drunk, you're the drunk yeah. uncle. At Christmas. <laughs> there's several iterations yeah. where it's applicable. That one applies more to me because I hate poker. But mm. I love the sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah who does? You, it's great you. stuff, man. Oh, man. Uh, so funny enough, Jake the asshole has a video up of Adam and Adam Carolla and Doctor Drew's show, and a caller asks about uh, Flat love Earth. Line? Uh, no, it's it's the Adam and Doctor Drew okay, show, right, right, which right. they do take some of those lo- old lo- they take Love Line style calls. Oh sure, you can't um, give up your bread and butter. Yeah, of course, man. man. Great fucking show. Mm-hmm. Um, a caller asked about Flat Earth, and while Adam doesn't give a flying fuck about it or people who believe in it, uh, Doctor Drew has some beef. With flat oh, earthers. Oh. Actually, this guy right here had a romantic interest. Actually, um, let's listen to more. Patrick Steer. <laughs> we weren't ready yet. Flew her. Listen to me. Excuse me. No, 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 no,
Yeah. Just having a romantic you know? interest in Patrick Steer is really bad. So somebody wants Seriously, to fuck somebody that you find repulsive. Flat Earth with other hot potatoes so and was like, "Look, look at that lady! Wow, she's really hot. I'd like to fly her out here to the UK and get with her." Hey, hey, Pat Steer, welcome to the hot potatoes. What a fake plastic personality she he is. So for Antonio to be attracted to such a fake plastic personality and then fly her him out to the UK and then have sexual relations with her him <laughs> and then he he wants to act like he's got the best map and he's got the sun all figured out but he couldn't figure out that Pat was a man uh, did the physical experiments to prove it this guy needs to fucking let it go yeah, uh, sorry about that. Uh, like, I should have finished that yeah. clip there at the end. There, we could have uh, got, we could have got it all out. So that's the last clip I have of uh, of Jake Good. the asshole there. Um, and it, we we're still going to reiterate. That's what he's trying to say. You know, he's, he just because he fucked a tranny who really gives a shit who who, who you gives fuck. Gives a fine fuck. But now that that uh, that affects the credibility in someone he wants to believe in. That's only in his eyes. You know, you just have to listen, listen to him. To me, fucking no, man. I don't think I can anymore. He's just a little twat, isn't he? You're coming across like a complete twat. So let's listen to Dr. Drew. All right. We'll go at sort of truths. You know, just it's one thing to have a belief that isn't true, but to call something that is self-evidently true not true. Mm -hmm. Right? To me, it's going the other direction, right? Uh -huh. Having a belief it's not true, all right. Uh, but taking something that's true and undermining it sort of undermines everything. <laughs> And, and it, at its core is a lack of understanding of just the, the basic principles of science and reality. Yeah. And, and that's concerning to me. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's why it represents that to me. Yeah, I, I the same. I, I feel like I, it's the same group, not the same group, but uh, when I hear about any, you know, the Twin Towers were brought down by the government and, um, you know, and, and we never landed on the moon and all this kind of stuff. It's yeah. like, it just seems so impossible to pull that off. But as I've always said, whenever you talk to those people, it's always, I hate the government. I hate my dad. It's just right. like, it's never, <laughs> oh, I love this country, but the Twin Towers are going to come down. Like, it's always like, if you ever talk to Ed Asner about it, it's just like, oh, we took the Twin Towers down. Okay. And uh, we could have stopped the Holocaust, but we didn't. Huh. You know, it's like a lot of that. Yeah. And then, like, oh, okay. So I, you, I, I, get, I would believe you in the conspiracy theories if there was one that ever made this government look good and not look like a tyrannical How about there was ever, ever one that was true? Or ever one that was true. <laughs> that ever? Ever? Yeah, no, I, I get, but I know what's motivating this. You have this loathing of this society yeah, right. and this it's, government. It's a low-grade paranoia of authority. Period. Right. That's right. So that was the end of that segment there. Oh, that was just okay. gonna end it on there. I see what you did there. What do you guys think, yeah. man? What do you think of that? Um, that whole fucking thing with Dr. Drew there. He well, I mean, that's a good way to look at it. Like, if you're gonna, like, you're just nearing in the face of fucking basic science and knowledge. Like, it's yeah, it's 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 terrible to think about that. Like, these scientists are doing great things every single day. Maybe some of them aren't doing so great. I was looking at some of these brochures when I went to the dentist today, and they want me to use fluoride toothpaste. Oh, of course to like, they do. Yeah, and I was like, well, what's the why do I need to use fluoride? You know? Well, it's already in your drinking water, though, so you're good. Oh, so we're yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. it's already being forced poisoned to you. So, which is what it is. You are being poisoned if you're drinking tap water that hasn't been properly really the fluoride. Got to get the fucking yeah calcifies in your brain. Yeah, 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 don't tell me that. Yeah, it does. It does. Well, shit, the pineal man. gland. But I like the Corolla's point there. Yeah, like, man. Why is it always about how fucked up and terrible everybody is? And it because it's so that, easy to so see like, the bad side of things. Sure, sure, and that that's like always a good reason. Well, why would they lie about that? Well, so they could get more money and power. Yeah, doy. I mean, <laughs> it's just the. I don't know, the go-to fucking default answer. 
You know, like the it's government's just, like NASA. just oh, a no, Bond NASA. villain. Like, it's the same thing that they have with NASA and Flat Earthers. Oh, no. Right, yeah. but that one doesn't NASA's even make sense. Like, well, they need to get their budget every year. Like, they could get that still if the Earth was flat. Yeah. Like, saying that it's round doesn't give them any more money when there's when their point is to explore what exists as it is. So if it was flat, then they go, holy shit, it's flat. Let's go out and fucking explore it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so they'd still be getting paid to explore shit. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Like, it makes no sense for them to completely spin this story. What uh, are they gaining from it? Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not getting anything. I do get something out of it. It's some sort of, like, odd satisfaction that there's idiots out there. Yeah, there are always going to be idiots. Um, maybe we can revert some of them into think looking at the right way, you know? I mean, honestly, when you give them the... Uh, when it comes to the flat earth idea, like you give them the South star, you give them the moon phases like that debunks the fuck out of the rest of it. And if they can say, Oh, right. where's the curvature? It's like, dude, you could still fucking see boats disappear from the yeah. hole and up. It, yeah. And then they go, we'll get a fucking camera. And I go, yeah, I'll put a camera there and I'll still watch it go over the horizon. It'll take longer it, that way. Cause yeah. I can see farther, but it will still happen. It will still happen. Then you get a telescope was, out and then watch it. It'll if it was a disappear. disc and you're going around it revolution wise, then it would list off to the fucking right. Yep. That's yeah, right. Instead of going over a horizon, yeah. you moron. Yep. South star. Like we're too small to see the curvature with our naked eye. Yeah. Period. I think, I think part of it in these flat earthers brains that they just, they can't grasp the size of the earth in relation no, to us. Because like their, we're tiny in their thing. The earth is really fucking tiny. Like, yeah. And it's like no, <laughs> comparatively it's, speaking, anyway. it's huge. So you you've got to be way up there to just start to be able right. to see a little so bit of a curve. A, a globe, Earth, and and an atmosphere creating gravity or density, however you want to look at it, is so far fetched. But a goddamn puddle and an ice wall and a dome with this mysterious third celestial being swimming around underneath it is fucking plausible to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here, I got a question. What crawl uh, up your own ass and die. What is what's y'all's favorite argument for the flat earth? Like just that you love to see them try and use. Well, I've, we've never actually talked to an adamant one, so I don't really well, know. Just from what we know. Oh, like, just from what we know, know the, any... the puddle thing is just well, I don't know, maybe the dome. The dome might be the most absurd Just the thing I've ever heard. the existence of a dome? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I have a, I've I developed a new theory on the way we see star trails and if uh, the way they would be seen in a dome compared to uh, the way that we see them now. I mean, there would be a lip... Anyways, I have a whole th- theory we can get into some other like time. Refraction? No, no, no. I mean, if it was a dome and they were actually on the dome and they were spinning, if you were looking at it in certain directions, oh, it would see. make ellipticals mm-hmm. instead of perfect yeah. circles and shit. Mm-hmm. And even if you... The only way that you'd be able to see perfect circles if you're damn near in the middle of the, of the earth times. and yeah. you're able to see it spin in circles anywhere else in the world it's going to look like an elliptical because of the dome over the earth which point. doesn't make a fucking lick of sense to me uh, think about how you're like you're laying in bed and you see your your fan and if you put like a dot on it it makes like circles but it's not perfect little circles they're ellipticals because it gets closer and further away from you mm-hmm. anyways that's uh, that's my little theory on that it, it, it's very st- steel clad it's, um, it's repeatable it makes a hell of a lot more sense yeah. than a dome yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes sense for it. Well, it would de- it would make a dome make sense if this is what we can ex- uh, observe in real life, which we don't observe that we can see. Well, but you're using science principles to figure that out, and science is bullshit. But you're right. I, I <laughs> yeah. got to go back and do some research without mm-hmm. using science. Uh, oh, what man. are we gonna fucking How exactly well, you have do? To you change, research. Yeah, change the whole model. I, I, I got to rethink it all. Mm-hmm. I mean, we scientific can't... method out the window. Yeah. Oh heck! You know, uh, observing, hypothesize. No, that's that's for suckers. Yeah, man, fuck that. That's, uh, <laughs> well, well, ironically, that's exactly what they're doing, though. Yeah, it's for suckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're still using the scientific process. Let's get anyway. to the news, you guys. What do you think? Yeah. Let's All right. Do it. Here we go. We got news with Nick and Lo. We got news with Nick and Lo. That's right. We coming at you, coming with the light. We got the news, we've got the news. Ah. We've got the news, we've got the news, yeah. We've got the news with Nick and Lowe's. And Brenda. That's right. right. All right, that's right. We've got the news, we've got the news, we've got the news. So uh, I want to talk about this government shutdown that's happened, and it's third day yeah. in the sh- government shutdown. Lawmakers are scrambling and headlines are screaming. Hang on, so before we get too far into the... Dumb question, Amnesty. Government shutdown. Mm -hmm. Just, they completely, they run out of money to operate. Negative. 
Okay. No, uh, what's going on in a government shutdown is that we are trying to settle uh, our budget. Okay. Um, but there's two sides to everything. And we have two, we have a primary, uh, we have primarily Republicans, but we also have a lot of Democrats that are in some of the office. And it's only about a third of what we have as Republicans. Mm-hmm. So they, right now they're having this debate where about the wall, they do not want to fucking put the wall up the Rep- uh, the Democrats. Um, but they can't agree on it, which they, everybody needs to agree. So what's going on is they shut down the government so that they can settle this idea. Now, only essential government's going to still work, but right. non-essential is not going to work. Mm-hmm. And they're on what they call a furlough, such as, you know, like DMVs and uh, the, uh, the military. Uh, but the military is still going to get to work. Um, they all don't get paid, but the, uh, the military can get paid later. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. The Congress needs to pass it. This is what they're doing. They're trying to pass a budget resolution by the end of Friday to fund the government. But the political parties can't come to agreement on the bill, wrangling especially over whether to include immigration measures, like a fix for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, the DACA program, and whatever to, uh, and whether to show, uh, pass a short-term fix or come to a lasting budget agreement. They're just not coming together for an agreement. Uh, Democrats are blaming Republicans. Um, and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Republicans, they control the White House and right. both if houses of Congress. you control all three branches of government and still can't get anything done, you don't get to blame the other side. Yeah. That's the bottom That's line. That's kind of true. <laughs> like, in fact, every time in recent history there's been a shutdown, we've had a Republican Congress, also something worth noting. But if you can't get shit done when you control executive, legislative, and judicial branches, the problem's on you. Well, let me think about it. If, like, Democrats, let's say some of the Democrats in office, and de- they don't shut down, they get along, it's because the Republicans didn't It's like the Democrats are the ones who are like, no, we're not going to do it, but Republicans always go with it. Re- Democrats are like, no, fuck that and shit. I mean, I don't know if they, I'm not that, trying to say, like, they're doing that, but right. that's Republicans what seems to be. never, ever, oh, ever. Take it easy. <laughs> but, um... I saw the video of one lady saying, okay, we need to make sure that we do something to ensure our military gets paid for their service. Let's, can we all agree that the military should get paid during this? And Mitch, fuck you, and your fucking stupid face McConnell is the one who objected to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Republicans who need cooperation from the other side to pass the funding of a bill with over 60 votes are blaming the Democrats. Right. Um, the bill now faces a murkier, murkier future in the Senate because uh, they tried voting. But again, on isn't that on them? Like they have 51 out of the 60 needed votes. Isn't it kind of on them to like, hey, we want your votes. We need to get them. Like you can't just go. Yeah, you're not voting for me. Like, well, we don't want to be a fucking you know dictatorship. So we have to come into agreement. That's the, I that's know, the but it's like democracy. you need nine Democratic votes. So fucking compromise or work with them and to get the. On the other nine hand, votes. yeah, I mean, yeah, you're seeing. I mean, Donald Trump says something in the budget needs to have the wall in it, like because they need to. I guess we're paying for the wall at first, and then we're gonna take the money from fucking. That's not happening. That's bullshit. We don't need that's, that fucking goddamn wall. We do need fucking uh, border patrol. We do need more safety. But that fucking wall is not going to stop anybody from fucking coming into the country. It's not going to stop any drugs. They're not just being fucking driven over. They're <laughs> ships. They're being flown. They're coming from other fucking countries anyway. Like you know what? You know Jesus Christ. Uh, Andy used to argue to me about like how like cartel still does like marijuana. It's like their biggest trade still, and I didn't believe it. And I saw this uh, this this thing on Netflix, a little documentary. And then like, yeah, they were cartels were saying like marijuana is like a still a big industry for them. They still bring it around. It's like, Holy fuck. Who still buys cartel fucking weed when we have all these States that are legalized and they're right. It's like, we need to, this is the reason why we need to start buying local and Always shopping shop local, local, you know, so <laughs> especially with your right? weed. and know where your weed comes from. Especially and like, don't they have tunnels. I mean, they fly, they have other means other. Like, oh man. The cartel is super fucking sneaky, bro. I know. Super they're not just going to put it in the bed of a pickup truck and fucking <laughs> drive it over the fucking border. They oh, do. They I mean, do they, they still <laughs> they do that. I'm sure that's kind of happens. But <laughs> if you catch a pickup truck, you've missed out on how many millions of pounds. That oh probably yeah. Come I mean, in other that's, ways. that's in any method of them shipping. I mean, you catch that there's probably 20 or 30 more that make it. Putting up a goddamn barbed wire fence this shit is not going to stop the problem. Fun fact, Coast Guard ships stop more marijuana a year than anything else. See? They yeah, they still so, keep gra- grabbing it. Are we going to build a wall out in the Gulf? In the Pacific Ocean? Also, someone else agrees, buy local weed. Yeah. Goddamn right. Support your local dealer, goddammit. Whether it's food, drugs, yeah. clothing, whatever. 
Yeah. Go local. Yeah. Fuck all that Amazon shit. Unless you absolutely <laughs> need something, but like, why? Why bother with that, man? You're just killing the your local stuff. So the Republicans and Democrats need to come to a compromise so that we can open up the government again. Sure, I agree. Um, so that uh, many hundreds of thousands of workers can get back to work. Uh, you don't think they're still going to get paid for it? Keeping us. I've waiting. talked to government employees and like, I enjoy the time off. Granted, my next paycheck's a bit late, but I still get it. What do you it. think about? This whole DACA thing, and I think this is what they're getting at too. It's like if you come in here illegally, and then you have you you uh, if you, you have a kid a, here, you have a kid here. Um, what is the future of that kid? What what because you're here illegally? Well, already. I know I know personally know people DACA who have been born about. in other countries and they have dual citizenship mm-hmm. simply because they were born there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that we're not the only place that does that. Yeah. But others, other places are shithole countries, as you as you know. Oh right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as Trump said. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, uh, anyways, man, we, uh, it's, it's shutting down, but this whole DACA thing, I, my mom was an immigrant. She came here legally, uh, legally and did all the right things to become a citizen. Um, uh, yeah. I've always said that regarding immigration. Why do we find out instead of being like, fuck this illegal shit, let's find out why so many people are risking so much to do it illegally instead of going through the proper channels. Because their country is a shithole. That's why they're doing it. Well, right. So that's why they want to come here. But what is so convoluted and fucked up about our process for them to do it legally that they're risking so much to avoid that? Uh, Yeah, I think it's because we only only let a certain amount of uh, migrants in a year or something. We probably cap that, you know, pretty quickly with Mexicans and, you know, uh, Muslim or Muslim based uh, uh, Easterners or whatever. Whatever they're doing, I don't. I can't pretend to know uh, the immigration laws. I don't. I, I don't. I haven't seen the numbers on where most of the immigrants are coming yeah, from. I don't. Um, but they are mostly coming. To, there's a lot coming from Mexico. I know that because I grew that up. That number's in California. been going down, though. Well, thank you, Trump. <laughs> See, we don't need a wall. We just need him to keep splattering <laughs> his fucking mouth hole. Yeah, because they don't want to be And they're going to be like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Maybe yeah. that's his plan the whole time. Make it seem like a shitty place to be. Make and it a shitty country. Away. Like, who the fuck wants to go to Unless, fucking Unless, of course, US you're from and... Norway. <laughs> you know, yeah. whatever. But God, apparently, they've got to be uh, laughing at us. Apparently, it's, so, it's a very expensive process to become a legal citizen, which I'm sure, because I'm sure you've got to get lawyers and all this shit and paperwork and time. And if you're an immigrant, you're probably kind of scared of the legal system. Well, you're coming system. here because you don't have any money. Yeah, in exactly. Some, in you don't some have cases. it to begin with. So, But hey, here's an idea. How That's, about maybe when you catch people who are illegally, instead of just deporting the masses, they've already started to like build and develop a life here. Why not help them get you know, right. full help immigration them attain status and become citizens? How, how do you do that? Use more taxpayers' money for people that are that I've, came here it would the be wrong cheap. way? It would end up paying off in the end if you get them to become citizens and they stay here and pay taxes instead of sending the money off for them yeah, to come back and try that's again. That's coming out of you're taxes. Gonna, you're going to outlaw, you know, out, you know, off-foot a bunch of money but right then, so but they're going to stay. But we put more taxes into it so that more people that... You know, uh, dude, okay. I would rather more taxes go to immigration helping people come make a better life than like some of the other bullshit that's going on. That's true. On. And so also, it's like if, if we do that, then that. they're putting taxes back in. Exactly. You it, know it pays off. It, what if NASA and what if what they if had to pay expose, for some of what it? What if we expose NASA for what they really are so that we can take that $30 billion a year? And do use it for immigration. <laughs> That's what we should fucking do. Yeah, there you go. Or let NASA become, you know, for, you know, Mex- they could be head of called immigration. Mesa. They'll call <laughs> right. it Massa. Why don't we just have uh, Google Mexican. Earth watching the border? Oh, there's another one running. I mean, they're I watching mean, anyway. They already are. Yeah, it's we just. You know. All right. Any guys that have any news you guys want to share? Yeah. Speaking of uh, immigrating stuff in. Okay. Um. Actually, give me y'all. Give me like ten seconds. Listen um, to me. No, we're we're listening, Brandon. What the hell? <laughs> uh, so, so, in the wonderful country of Lithuania, Lithuania. Are you guys familiar with Lithuania? Yeah, sure. Um, many many times. And speaking I've been of there. smuggling, we were uh, speaking about the cartel smuggling in drugs or whatever. Uh, tobacco is the uh, the big smuggling point in uh, Lithuania, really? and they're using uh, GPS technology and uh, throwing these big bundles into the rivers when the uh, when they start to finally unthaw. They throw them in there so they get trapped under the ice. And uh, this is coming from like a neighboring country. I think it was uh, Belarus. And they flow into the river. They get caught up somewhere. Somebody with a GPS tracker would go find it and unpack them. But basically, they found uh, one in every six well, cigarettes. How do, you, how do you get a random GPS? Like you just put the transmitter in, like with the packaging. But how does it? Stay oh, so the smugglers are doing this. I was yeah. thinking the government was finding oh. them. This oh way. no, the no, smugglers no, no. are doing. It. Got it. Okay. But uh, they did end up getting caught. And, um, you know, just 
That's pretty I'm, brilliant. I'm man. having some uh, slow speeds. What happened to our caller? Here, I don't you know, man. Not, no, right. not yet. You pissed him off. But uh, it was probably the asshole. The government says that it's lost about oh, fifty million was? euros. Do we have a voicemail saying one 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 one? Go ahead, Brandon. Uh, let's see. The cigarettes uh, that were, they were smuggling in are four times more expensive in Lithuania than in neighboring B- Belarus. So that's why they were buying them there, shipping them over. But uh, ah. it's estimated that one in six cigarettes in the country was uh, is illegal. <laughs> cigarettes. So uh, man, in six, if you want to huh? get on that. So every every everybody's got their something, man. Yeah, man. We're Dude, worried about man. weed. They're worried about cigarettes. Yeah, you know. Canada's worried about Americans coming up Maybe there. it's just <laughs> what we need to expect, you know. They're, like, I was watching something where uh, they're, they're, they live in New York, and somebody just got robbed, they, and they were like, ooh, now you're a really New Yorker, you know? Oh, like, shit. what, we're, that's supposed to be okay? Uh, wow. But I guess that's the life that you have to live when you're a New, yeah, New you Yorker. You do get accustomed to things wherever you happen to be. You do. Yeah, that's, that's just how shit is, man. Yeah, Damn, that's that's real. There's man. always going to be that's people make, trying to make money, and the quickest way to make money in this goddamn world is to sell drugs. I stopped for drugs. gas today and got approached, and this lady was trying to scam me. I'm standing there Ooh, what was pumping it? gas. What was the scam? And she's like, oh, I'm far from home. And I no, miss- she was there. The, her and this dude were standing at the front of the building, and she came walking over, cigarette in hand, by the way, to the fucking pumps. So that's always brilliant. <laughs> and she's like, okay, I need some help. Uh, we had a room over at the W Hotel. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, oh. Okay. Okay. She's like, actually, actually, my fucking ex husband got the room. I was like, okay. But then somehow he kicked them out of the room or they can't get the room because they need a credit card. You know, they have to put down in case there's incidentals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to have a card on file. Everything's already paid for. And we're real careful people. Like, we wouldn't do anything. But can you help us? She wants your credit card. She wants me to put my credit card down on file at the W Hotel. Oh, my God. You're coming across like a complete twat. And I was like, (laughs) no, that's not going to happen. She's like, no, but we're really careful people. I'm like, so careful that you got fucked over and are left without hotel room or a card of your own. Like, how am I supposed to buy into this bullshit? Oh, my God. No. Now get the fuck away from the gas pump with the goddamn lit cigarette. Yeah. Real smart when you it is. was, and then and then she's like, "Well, do you at least have a dollar?" I was like, "You went from a There's really your, expensive hotel yeah. room to a dollar." Yeah, get the fuck out of that here with that too shit. Fucking good, man. Too good. <laughs> oh, any other news? You I guys? should have been like, "Yes, I do," and then climbed into my car and just drove the fuck away. But yeah, be like, "Yeah, thanks for asking." I do have a I dollar. I got a couple actually. of them, but you know, <laughs> I want to go inside and use it to buy a bottle of water right in front of your fucking face. <laughs> 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 all right all right well that's the end of our show you guys thank you so much for listening we should be here in the outro here in a second oh there oh, it is right on time if you guys like our content please check us out on itunes all of our old uh ratings disappeared when we went to podbeam.com uh, which by the so way you can, go to to a, you can go to emergency exit podcast.podbeam.com is that how we that's uh, a lot that, of dots and pods just go to podbeam podbean dot, Pod, emergency I exit? keep saying bean, but yeah. I mean beam. No, it's, it's, no, it's bean with an it's, N, like it's coffee bean. bean. It's no, like, it's, it's like bean. Fl- flicking a bean. Like yeah. flicking a bean. Flicking Jim, a bean. <laughs> uh, so it's emergency exit dot pod bean, B-E-A-N dot com. We also have our own website. That's emergency exit podcast dot com. We're also on Twitter at E-M-E-X pod. Give us a like on Facebook. Say hello. We, uh, we constantly look at that stuff. We're always posting. We're going to be back next Monday night with a new topic. We got things going. We're rolling for this new year. Uh, Nick's going to be where, real quick? Where? Anywhere. Oh, we're going to be... Nowhere until uh, first weekend of February. Fair enough. All right. Well. I'll be in Austin. For Nick, the passion writer, Brandon, the hard hat Mitchell, I'm Lo saying. That's That's right. right.